today we're at the lovely Silith Golf Club. A uh, couple of hours away for us, but we've come up for a game. It looks beautiful. Been here before, absolutely love it. So I'll take some snaps when we're out there. Uh, playing with a friend of mine, Mark, and Adam Stone. Adam Stone's playing uh, the PGA Latin Tour. Um, so he's back getting a visa sorted and this, that and the other. So uh, let's see how we get on. Down the right. How's that gone? Start the right. Similar to mine. Par five, I think we're on about 13. Uh, three birdies so far, which is good. Um, enjoying it, playing all right. Uh, nice play with Adam, uh, very good player. Like I said, playing on the PGA Latin American Tour, I think it's, no, it's, uh, it's over at the moment visiting, so uh, good playing some good golf with him. Uh, the uh, greens are a little bobbling places, but the scenery is just absolutely stunning. Uh, having a good day so far. So it's Wednesday uh, this week. I played Silith yesterday. Hope you saw some lovely clips there. Um, a stunning old course, one of my favourites. Uh, played with a young lad called Adam Stone, who is from Lancaster originally, um, and played over in America on a scholarship. And he is playing on the PGA Latin Tour, so one of the mini tours over in the States. So he's back trying to get a visa sorted and uh, raise some sponsorship as well. So. If you're interested in helping him out, he's a fantastic golfer and a lovely, lovely lad as well. Playing again on Hesker for the tournament on Friday and playing with Adam again. We've got, uh, managed to sneak him into the uh, PGA tournament, so uh, interesting to see how he gets on more of a competitive situation. I had five birdies yesterday, I had a put on the last for the sixth one. 
Um, so trying to hit that magic number six every time. Um, but I had two bogeys, so three under total. Um, good day, good day. Um, I was disappointed. There's two par fives in a row, and I hit the green in two on the first one and three putting for a par. And then on the second one, only had a nine iron in my hands and missed the green, didn't get up and down, so that was disappointing. Got a damn wind. And that's where probably how I saw a difference where Adam hit the, uh, missed the green actually in the first one and got up and down and then hit the green and two putted for his birdies. We were birdie birdie on there. So he had six birdies, I had five birdies, and even Mark had two birdies as well. So it was a good day, we had some good golf. Uh, I will fill you in coaching all day today, Wednesday, Thursday is daddy daycare duties, and Friday is tournament day. So I'll probably catch you all on Friday. Tournament day under Hesketh, running a little late. Uh, Harry, who's giving me a lift, who's playing with us today, uh, had a few things to do this morning. But we've had a McDonald's breakfast, so we're fully prepared. Um, it is 8.48. We've just stopped off at the shop to get some supplies. And we're teeing off at 9.32. Playing with Adam Stone again and Mark and me and Harry. But it'd be me and Mark as the team and Adam and Harry as their team. Um, weather conditions, windy, a bit grim. Hope it doesn't rain too much. And... Uh, I'll see how much I can take on golf course because I'll be playing a bit more of a tournament which actually counts today and if it's raining and windy it's usually quite hard to actually get my phone out and film stuff. Just a little round review from yesterday at Hesketh. Uh, played some really good golf, hit lots of good shots. Missed two putts on the first hole and the 14th hole from about, well, about that length, which has cost me a little bit, but um, just tried to hit it through the break. I was a bit unsure of the first one, rammed in that one on the 14th. I tried to and missed the hole, but pulled them both. So a little bit of work to do on some short putts, but all in all, played some good golf. Uh, the, the, of course, the score, the winning score was Craig Corrigan, who had an amazing round of 60, including a hole in one and uh, three eagles. So I had three, no, yeah, three eagles and a hole in one. So it's four eagles in total. I had three eagles. Now, the score in uh, Hesketh is doing a bit of work on their 17th and 18th. So they are par fives on the scorecard, but one's actually a par three and a short and par four. So I finished 3-3, three, three, which is probably more technically par birdie. Um, so you can take the scoring in relation to par it would be one less, two less, be three less. So my four under is probably technically one under and Craig's 12 under is technically nine under. So still an extremely good knock. I finished tied fifth. So there were three people, Craig, Steve, and then two, so four people above me, obviously tied fifth. That was really bad maths, wasn't it? Um, I don't think there's anything next week to play and I'm not too sure. What tonight, what I'm gonna do is actually do the schedule what I'm doing for the summer. So I went to some tournaments tonight, see where I am, because I haven't been a bit lazy doing that yet. So. We'll have more of an idea of the playing schedule in the next, hopefully by next week. Um, all in all, really good. Had a great few days. Obviously saw some shots at Sillith as well, playing with Adam Stone, who's said he's over visiting. He's competing out in uh, South America. So he's back. He's uh, from the area, but he's back visiting and getting a visa sorted. Uh, fabulous golfer. Very, very good. He played yesterday, had three under, so technically level off the scorecard, but with those par five. They just couldn't change it on the system. That's all it was. Uh, but a fantastic knock on from Craig there. He's gone, he's a very, very good player. Been around a long time, playing some very good golf. Um, so even with those two short puts, I still would have been a lot off the pace. Um, but 
what worked well for me was I've been going out trying to get those six birdies in a round, so a little bit more aggressive with some of those birdie putts from sort of 15, 20 feet. I had a spell of about four holes, where you see the scorecard where the ship sort of steadied a little bit, and I had chances there, but just sort of tipped it, tapped it towards the hole. The putting did feel really comfortable over the week, um, so hopefully carry that forward into next week. Hope you've enjoyed this week, and uh, let me know. I didn't get any, any requests for any tips or instructional stuff, so if you want to see something next week, just give us a bell and we'll get it filmed.